Today I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to create a website. Now this applies to AI builders. As you have noticed with AI builders, sometimes you need to enter, not sometimes, but you do need to enter a prompt or a description of the website so that the AI website builder generates for you a website. Now sometimes you might not be having a well-detailed prompt to generate a good website because the way this AI website builders work is that you need to give it a well-detailed prompt in order for it to generate for you a proper website. And that's where ChatGPT comes in. So if you use ChatGPT to give you a prompt, like for example, this one here, give me a prompt to create a website for finance. And what it did, it gave me a title. As you can see, smart finance, empowering your financial future. And then here comes the prompt. So create a comprehensive website for smart finance. A one-stop destination for empowering individuals with the knowledge, tools, resources they need to take control of their personal finances and achieve their financial goals. The website aims to cater to a broad audience from novices seeking financial education to experienced investors looking for advanced strategies. So this right here is what you can use for the prompt on your AI website builder. Okay. And there are different kinds of niche you can go about this. So let's say you're in the pet niche. Okay. Or to be specific, the dog niche. Okay. So you can just come down over here and say, give me a prompt to create a website for dogs. So again, it starts with a title over here. So Possum Pals, Unleashing the Love for Dogs. Then down here we have our prompt. So it says, design a captivating website for Possum Pals, a vibrant online community dedicated to all things dogs. The website's primary focus is to celebrate the love and companionship that dogs bring to our lives while providing valuable resources and information for dog owners, enthusiasts, and those considering bringing a furry friend into their homes. All right. And if at all you want to be selling animal products or dog products, okay, maybe something like beds, uh, dog beds, dog cages, this is the type of prompt that you can use for that. And maybe you're in the beauty niche, okay, so maybe you, have, uh, you want a website where you can be able to promote beauty products or if you're selling beauty products, things like that, you can just come down over here and say, give me a prompt to create a website for beauty products. And there you go. So you have the title, Glow Guru Unveiling Your Radiant Beauty. So the prompt is design an elegant and user-friendly website for Glow Guru, an online destination that curates and offers a wide range of high-quality beauty products. The website's mission is to empower individuals to enhance their natural beauty and indulge in self-care with top-notch skincare, makeup, and grooming essentials. Okay, so this is perfect. This is what we need. We now know that the AI website builder will be able to come up with a website which has skincare products, makeup, and other grooming essentials. So down here, as you have noticed, it has uh, other sections like homepage. So it just goes to tell you what you can add on the homepage. So you can say a visually stunning landing page with a clean and modern design, a captivating slideshow or carousel showcasing featured beauty products. So this is something that's very typical in home pages, uh, like a carousel that's showcasing different products on your website. And then here you have a clear navigation to different sections of the website. Okay. So this now applies to a multi-paged website. So we have the, uh, the shop page, we have the beauty page or beauty blog page. You have the uh, beauty quiz page. So these are just different uh, sections or pages that you can add on your website. Okay, so now let's come and test out some of these examples. Let's test out this prompt, okay? So we're going to be using Pineapple. This is a Pineapple Builder. I have a link in the description. So what you just do, just sign up. Once you've signed up, you'll be able to create your website. So click on Create a Website. And here you can select the templates. They have about five templates. So just go ahead and use any. I'm going to be using this one here. And here is where you can now select your version for ChatGPT. So they have a GPT 3.5. This is the free one. This is the one that we've been using here. So this is the prompt that we're going to use. I'm going to copy this, come back over here, and then just paste our prompt right there. Okay. So I just remove some of that space. And this is why I prefer using our uh, pineapple because it's integrated with chat GPT. So you can use chat GPT 3 or GPT 4, right? So once you've done, you've entered your business description or your prompt. You can now come down over here. Here is where you can now enter the audience. So even if you're sure about your audience, you can also ask ChatGPT. But of course, our audience would be just ladies, ladies or women. And now we can click on Start Generation. And there we go. 
So it starts generating immediately. So it's still developing the website. It's a single page website, and there we go. So now it's completed. All right. So here we have our home page or our top banner with the title over here. And then we have the subtitle over here. <laughs> Down here you have the rest of it. Here you can place a product. Okay, you can place a product on this side. Okay, you can place another product on this side. This can be perfect for a multi-product website. Okay. So you're just promoting different types of uh, products on your beauty website. And then down here you have your footer. Okay. So here they tell you to select your background color. Okay. So they have different types of colors. Okay. If you just want to test it out, you can see you have bold here, you have minimal. And this applies really to the buttons. Okay. So let's have a look at the buttons. Okay. It's going to really change the buttons and a little bit of this area. So if we click on, like, for example, minimal, as you can see, the tone changes. Okay. The tone of the buttons, the colors of the buttons. So you can just go ahead and choose whatever you want. So I'm just going to leave mine at this one here, bold. Up over here, you have palette styles. You have um, vivid, you have pale, you have white. Okay. You have dark. Okay, so again, just giving you different options that you can use for your website. I'm just going to leave mine uh, default at vivid. Okay, once you're done, you have uh, down here, you have your textiles. It's basically now your font. Okay, if you want to change your types of font, you can go ahead and select different types of fonts. They have them over here. Okay, I'm just going to leave mine at enter. Here now you have your button styles. Okay, if you come down over here, you can change the way this button looks like. So you have sharp, you have default. So default is round edged, okay? And then here you have rounded. So this one is much more rounder. Yeah, I think I prefer it this way. Okay, so all your buttons will be like that. Okay, now once you are done, you can now scroll back up over here and click on save. Okay, so just click on skip. And then here is now basically your website. This is where you can now design the rest of your website. This is the full layout, okay? So if there's anything that you want to change, you can change it even starting from the logo. So if you want to change the logo, you can go ahead and do that. Just click on edit header. And here you have the website title. So you can give it another name. Maybe you can say something like maybe Fendi. Okay. Here you have your icon. You can change the icon. So if you have an icon for your website, you can go ahead and change it. Or you can just remove it like that. Okay. You can change your height, your width. You have your call to action button. So if you have a call to action button here on your header, you can place it and change the text over here. Here you have styles. Okay, you can change. It's very, very editable. This is a video just showing you how you can further do things like editing, removing a page, headers, and things like that. Okay. Yeah, so you can go ahead and change everything. Everything is completely customizable. Even the images, you can go ahead. So if you want to change the image, okay, you just select that section like that. Click on edit right over here. Okay, this tool area is going to appear on your right hand side. So here's where you can do things like changing your image. You can add an image over here. You can change the height of the section. You can change the border color by selecting this. They have different kinds of colors here that you can select. Then they have the border radius. Okay, so if you want this radius to be bigger, you can go ahead and do that. Up over here, you have the design. So you have padding. Okay, as you can see, you have padding. So this is just for increasing and decreasing the padding area. The padding area is usually the part that's within. Okay, inside the box area, um, if you want to increase it, you can go ahead and do that. As you can see, it's getting bigger. So you can go ahead and do that. I'm just going to leave it to the minimum. You can change the right, the bottom, the left. Here you have actions. And these are things like listen to event, trigger action, open dialogue. Now, honestly, I'm not really sure what this does, but you can go ahead and play around with them. Okay, so if you want to change your text, again, you can just select text right there. And another thing that I love about Pineapple is that it's SEO optimized. As you can see, this title is a H4 heading. That is very important for SEO. If you come up over here, you can see this one here is H2 tag. All right. So you have H2. And then this one here is H5. Okay. This one is H4. And this one here is the text itself. But you can go ahead and change them if you want. Maybe if you want this one to be H2. Okay. This is the one that actually should be H2. And maybe you can have this here as a paragraph. Okay. So you just highlight it like that. And then just select this. And select paragraph okay and then now here down here you can have this one to be now h3 you just select it like that click on this and then select h3 okay 
very very customizable another thing that i love about pineapple is that you can completely change this using ai okay you can change it yourself manually or you can use the option of ai so if you want to change all this even the title probably you can just select that and click on ai over here you can click on improve writing okay and then on your left hand side over here it's going to show you what you selected so you wanted to, uh, to improve the writing if you click on this drop down it's going to give you options like uh, do you want a blog post blog title uh, to make it shorter to make it longer to improve the writing all of these features you can actually use to completely alter your text okay so you can even enter the message itself here uh, if you want it to if you want to enter your your message manually you can go ahead and do that all right so there is something that i recommend you do because as you can see it's actually repeated the text sections have been repeated as you can see enhance your natural beauty anglo discover curated collection okay the same thing here discover curated collection so it's pretty much uh, copied uh, the text including the one on the title so if you use the ai text generator it's going to make your work easier and then you can have different text on your website each of them can easily be customized by ai okay now let's go ahead and use another prompt let's use this prompt that we have over here so this one was for dogs okay so we can copy all this come back to pineapple click on new website okay so again you can use any template let me go with this one here and we're going to be using chat gpt3 let's paste our prompt over here and then down here we have our audience okay so we can just say dog owners and start generation all right so here we go we have our website so the title was poor samples where dogs and their humans unite join our vibrant online community okay here we have again the title and we have the text over here we have our images all right so it's still loading the images okay so it's done and then again you can go ahead and change your appearance your text appearance i'm just going to leave it like this here, here you have things like testimonials so i'm just going to come up over here click on save so there you go you have your website your dog website again you can completely customize and change everything over here okay so again completely customizable uh, this one hasn't really repeated text a lot as you can see it says join our vibrant online community um here it says celebrate the love and companionship of dog with a vibrant online community it says join possum pulps and tap into wealth so it's not really duplicated like the other website which is not really a problem because like i said you can easily change it just using ai or if you want to change it manually you can go ahead and type it by yourself now let's try the last one the last prompt which was uh actually it was the first one the finance website so i'm going to copy this prompt come back to pineapple click on new website okay i'm just going to use this one here chat gpt3 and now we just paste our prompt right there our target audience so we can just say um people who are seeking uh, financial education okay start generation so there we go and now i'm just going to click on save so here is our website our finance website so empower yourself with smart finance take control of your personal finances and achieve your financial goals the next area is take control of your personal finances and achieve your financial goals so there's a little bit of uh, repetition here again you can go ahead and change it here we have discover the benefits of smart finance okay so these are the benefits i like the way it's done this okay here you have another section so again everything is editable you can completely delete for example if you don't want this you can delete this by just clicking on that okay here you have your image here you have some texts which are all completely customizable manually or by ai so as you can see this is a well detailed website single page website that you can use right off the bat and this is just some of the few examples that you can use to generate your website okay and this is all simply using chat gpt using completely ai tools using chat gpt and using ai website builders now there are different types of ai website builders each of them are going to produce their own types of version their own types of websites some will have more details some will have less details okay so i have a video on that you can use different types of ai website builders click on this video right here where i go about different types of ai website builders that you can use with chat gpt prompts that's going to do it for this video thanks for watching see you on the next one mm -hmm.